Once upon a time, in a quiet forest nestled beneath a blanket of twinkling stars, lived a mischievous raccoon named Ricky. Ricky was unlike any other raccoon in the forest. His fur was a rich mix of grays and blacks, which earned him the nickname Ricky the Rascal Raccoon. He had a twinkle in his eye and a curiosity that knew no bounds. Every night, while the other forest creatures settled into their cozy nests, Ricky would sneak out of his hollow tree. He couldn't resist the allure of the nighttime world. The darkness seemed to beckon him, promising secrets and adventures that only came to life under the shimmering moonlight. With his agile paws and nimble fingers, Ricky roamed the forest like a shadow, exploring every nook and cranny. He was drawn to the mysterious sounds and rustling leaves that filled the night air. No creature was as daring and sly as Ricky, and he took great pride in this. But Ricky's daring spirit often led him into trouble, much to the chagrin of the other forest animals. He was notorious for playing pranks on the owls, stealing berries from the rabbits, and making a mess of the squirrels' acorn stashes. His mischief knew no bounds, and everyone knew that when the night fell, Ricky would be up to something. Little did Ricky know that one fateful night, his adventurous spirit would lead him to a discovery that would change his life forever. It all started with a chance encounter under the starry sky, which would set him on a path toward friendship, magic, and lessons he could never have imagined. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Ricky felt the familiar excitement building within him. It was another night of adventure, and he couldn't wait to see what surprises the forest held. His tiny heart raced as he quietly crept out of his cozy tree hollow. The moon hung low in the sky, casting a silvery glow over the forest. Ricky's keen raccoon eyes adjusted to the darkness, and he set off on his journey. His padded feet barely made a sound as he weaved through the underbrush, guided only by the starry constellations overhead. Ricky loved the nighttime. He felt like a secret agent on a covert mission, sneaking around when everyone else was asleep. He would often stop to listen to the gentle whispers of the wind through the leaves and the distant hooting of owls. It was a symphony of nature's nocturnal sounds, and Ricky was the eager conductor. As he moved deeper into the forest, he noticed something magical. A soft, pulsating light flickered in the distance. Ricky's curiosity got the better of him, and he followed the mysterious glow. It was unlike anything he had ever seen before. The closer he got, the more his heart raced with anticipation. To his amazement, he stumbled upon a small group of fireflies, each one lighting up like a tiny lantern. Their enchanting dance of light mesmerized Ricky, and he watched in awe. It was as if the stars had fallen from the sky and taken the form of these tiny insects. Ricky decided to follow them, captivated by their gentle, ethereal glow. The fireflies led him through thickets and meadows, over babbling brooks, and past ancient trees. He felt like he was in a dream, and he couldn't help but smile as he followed these mysterious creatures. But little did Ricky know that this night of starry surprises was just the beginning of a grand adventure, one that would lead him to a magical secret hidden deep within the heart of the forest. As Ricky followed the mesmerizing dance of the fireflies through the moonlit forest, he couldn't help but feel a sense of wonder and enchantment. Each firefly illuminated the path in front of him, casting a soft, golden glow that painted the forest with an otherworldly beauty. The fireflies seemed to be leading Ricky to a destination unknown, and his curiosity only grew with each step. He moved silently, matching his pace with the gentle flickering of their lights. It was as if they were communicating with him in a language only he could understand. 
The night air was filled with a faint, sweet scent of flowers and bloom, adding to the magic of the moment. Ricky's heart swelled with a mixture of excitement and gratitude. He had always been a mischievous raccoon, but this journey with the fireflies felt different. It was as if the forest itself was entrusting him with a special secret. As Ricky continued to follow the fireflies, he noticed the forest around him changing. The trees grew taller and more ancient, their branches forming a natural canopy overhead. The underbrush gave way to a soft carpet of moss, and the air felt cooler and more refreshing. Finally, the fireflies led Ricky to a hidden meadow bathed in the soft, silvery light of the moon. The meadow was unlike any place Ricky had ever seen before. It was a world of enchantment, with flowers of every color imaginable swaying in the gentle breeze. In the center of the meadow was a sparkling pond, its surface shimmering like a mirror reflecting the starry sky. The fireflies gathered around the pond, their lights dancing on the water's surface. Ricky watched in awe as the pond seemed to come to life, reflecting the stars above in a dazzling display of light and color. It was in this magical meadow that Ricky realized he had stumbled upon a secret world hidden away from the rest of the forest. The fireflies, with their radiant glow, had led him here, and Ricky felt a deep connection to this place. Little did Ricky know that this newfound connection with the fireflies and the magical meadow would lead him on a series of adventures that would not only change his life, but also the lives of all the creatures in the forest. The journey had only just begun, and Ricky was about to embark on the most extraordinary adventure of his raccoon life. Ricky continued to visit the magical meadow with the fireflies night after night. It became his secret hideout, a place where he could escape the hustle and bustle of his mischievous raccoon life. The meadow's beauty and tranquility filled his heart with peace and contentment. As he spent more time there, Ricky discovered the many wonders the meadow held. He would spend hours watching the fireflies as they flitted about, creating intricate patterns of light in the night sky. The flowers that surrounded the pond released a sweet, intoxicating fragrance that made him feel as though he was in a dream. Ricky soon made friends with the creatures of the meadow. Frogs hopped near the pond, singing melodic songs that echoed through the night. Crickets played their tiny violins, providing a soothing soundtrack to his nightly adventures. Even the stars above seemed to twinkle brighter in this enchanted place. But what Ricky loved most was the sparkling pond at the center of the meadow. It held a mystery all its own. Every night, he would dip his paws into the cool, clear water, watching as ripples spread and distorted the reflection of the stars above. It was like touching the very heart of the night. The pond also held surprises. One night, as Ricky peered into the water, he saw his own reflection shimmering back at him. It was a moment of self-discovery. He realized that, just like the stars in the sky and the fireflies glow, he too was a part of this beautiful world. As days turned into weeks, Ricky's secret hideout became his sanctuary. He felt a sense of belonging and peace he had never known before. The mischievous raccoon started to change. He became less interested in playing pranks on his forest friends and more focused on the magic of the meadow. But little did Ricky know that his newfound haven would soon bring him face to face with challenges and adventures that would test his character and teach him valuable lessons about friendship and the importance of cherishing the beauty of the forest. One crisp, clear night in the heart of the forest, as Ricky prepared for another adventure to his beloved meadow, he couldn't help but notice a delightful aroma wafting through the air. It was a scent he couldn't resist, the sweet, tempting aroma of freshly baked cookies. 
The scent grew stronger, drawing Ricky like a magnet. His stomach rumbled with hunger, and his curiosity got the best of him. Following his nose, he soon arrived at the edge of the forest where a group of friendly animals had gathered around a warm campfire. They were enjoying a delightful evening filled with stories and, of course, those mouth-watering cookies. Sitting by the fire were a kind-hearted rabbit, a wise old owl, a chatty squirrel, and a gentle deer. They were sharing stories and laughter, passing around a jar filled with cookies, and sipping on warm cups of cocoa. Ricky watched them from the shadows, his eyes fixated on the delicious treats. Unable to resist the temptation, Ricky devised a plan. He had always been sly, and this was an opportunity too enticing to pass up. With his nimble paws, he quietly approached the jar of cookies. The other animals were so engrossed in their conversation that they didn't notice Ricky's cunning approach. Just as Ricky was about to make his move, he accidentally knocked over a twig, causing a tiny commotion. All eyes turned toward him, and his heart pounded with guilt and fear. Caught red-handed, Ricky froze, his paw hovering above the jar of cookies. The forest animals stared at him, a mixture of surprise and disappointment in their eyes. The rabbit spoke up, Ricky, what are you doing? We invited you to join us by the fire, and you try to steal our cookies? Ricky, feeling a pang of guilt, stammered, I... I couldn't resist the smell of those cookies. I'm sorry, I just wanted a taste. The squirrel chimed in, it's not right to take things without asking, Ricky. Ricky hung his head in shame, realizing that his mischief had gone too far this time. The forest animals decided to forgive him, but they made it clear that he needed to learn a lesson about sharing and respecting others. This encounter with the forest friends marked a turning point in Ricky's life. He realized that while mischief could be fun, it was important to consider how his actions affected others. Little did Ricky know that this lesson in sharing and empathy would be just the beginning of a series of events that would lead him on a transformative journey in the enchanted forest.